Next, I'd like to talk about diabetic foot amputations or leg amputations. It's unfortunate when this happens, we try to prevent these from happening, but sometimes people have like an ulceration that becomes infected, the bone becomes infected, which is called osteomyelitis, and sometimes we'll have to remove the infected bone and either do an incision and drainage procedure and clear up the infection. A lot of these go on to amputations, like a big toe amputation, which we call a hallux amputation, or lesser digit amputations, which we call lesser toe amputations, like second, third, fourth, fifth digits amputation. Sometimes the infection goes to their forefoot, and we'll have to do an amputation called like a transmetatarsal amputation, where we remove all of the toes and flush out the infection and hopefully help this patient heal the amputation site with a plantar flap. Further amputations like show parts amputation is the midfoot amputation and then you go to amputations like a below the knee amputation or above the knee amputation. And these are always usually caused by either vascular disease, gangrene, infection, sepsis, and we try to preserve as much tissue as we can and still have function and have the patient have healing of these wounds.